Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy, Kodak Stan, the Finesse Kid. And we are back today with another discussion video. But as you can see, today we are not playing Dragon Ball Z Final Stand. Today we are actually playing a Naruto game called Sakura Online. Nah, nah, nah. As some of you may know, or may have not heard or seen, uh... There have been word going around that Snake World is coming out with a new Naruto game. And guys, 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 it has been confirmed by Snake World himself. Yes, he is making a new Naruto game. He dropped a trailer. I will leave the trailer down in the description below. And this trailer is going to insist, you know, Snake World. Bro, he's an amazing developer. He's an amazing game, game owner. I honestly love Snake World's game. But dang, this dude does not know how to make a hype trailer. <laughs> so guess what, guys? I'm here to hype you guys up for him, okay? So, I will be leaving that, the link to the trailer down below. Don't forget to watch that later after this video. So, guys, as you guys may or may have not known, uh, Snake World was not always the, inf no, the, the famous gigantic game developer as you know now, I mean, he was, he all, he has always been a great game developer, but he wasn't always as popular as he is now before Dragon Ball Z Final Stand came out, alright? Before, Snake World actually used to, like, be a part of a dev team that, 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 uh, made this game called Naruto Online. And it, it was, it was, it was still pretty popular, but it was more of a community game, you know, a game popular within a community, not, like, Final Stand, where it's popular throughout all of Roblox, on uh, you know, getting on first page. So this dude, Snake World, oh my gosh, bro, this dude, you know, he stepped it up, and now he's coming out with a new Naruto game. It's it's the sequel to the original Naruto Online. It's called Naruto Online 2. And you already know this dude got all his clout and everything. So you already know that thing's gonna be packed and whatnot. But, 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 sadly, guys, this is not the original copy of Naruto Online 2. This is actually, I mean, Naruto Online, excuse me. This is a copy of Naruto Online, and it's actually being, it's, it's, it's a copy that's actually quite active. It's decently active, and it's being updated, you know, you no, know, um, weekly, daily. It's kind of, it's kind of, it kind of like, you know, alternates depending on how, how, um, how busy the devs are because they don't really make money off this game you know it's kind of just they don't make i don't know they don't make any real life money off this game maybe a few hundred robots but that's about it so yes guys this game is actually a copy of snake world's original naruto online game you know it's pretty much identical except that this leaf village this leaf village was actually made by one of the developers of this dev team for the copy so that's about it i mean the 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 gate and the Hokage building, and that's about it. The the um that's the only things that actually were changed. The lead like the the trees, the terrain, the bridge, the river. That's all. That's all by from the original. That tuning exam. Yeah, that 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 tuning um arena is in the original, and that Uchiha hideout is actually in the original. But yo, guys, I'm actually so hyped for Snake World's new Naruto game. I hope you guys are too, because you already know we about to. Be no, look at this, look at this, guys, look at this game's tree jumping, bro. You guys have to actually land it. It's not just like where like some games where it's just like, oh, tree jumping is just, oh, you just you know click on the tree and you like you just naturally land on top of it. It just flings you all the way across. Nah, bro. You have to actually time your jumps. You have to actually land them on trees. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh, snap. Your boy's a certified, certified tree jumper. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, there are some inform. There is some information about, uh, Snake World's new Naruto game that's already been out. And you know, it's, it's um. But first, before before I get into that, I'm gonna explain to you how his original copy, uh, uh, uh ha, ah, the way his original copy worked. Okay. So pretty much the way this game works is when you first join the game, you will be rank. Where is it? A rank E, as you can see, Dave the Nook. Colt. They're both rank E, meaning they they join the game and they have not ranked up. All right. So when you when you join the game, you will be given a random 
nature value and a random KK Genkai value. This means that the nature that you are born with, quote unquote born, as in when you join the game, is random, and the KK Genkai that you're born with is random too. So as for me, I was first born with fireball, I mean fire nature as my primary. And then as you proceed to C rank, you get your secondary nature where I got this, Earth. I got Earth as my secondary, all right? And then once you hit S rank, once you hit S rank, you already know, you know. Oh, shoot. If I can remember the... Hmm. What the heck is the... Okay, I can't remember the keys for any of the other ones because I really don't use any natures besides mine. But once you hit, hit S rank, you can use all the natures in the game. You can use water, wind. All right, let me show you wind because I do remember wind. Uh, do I? Wait. What the? Hold up, hold up. Oh, I'm actually confused now. Bro. Wait. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Bro, I actually don't know what I'm doing. Shoot! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. I remember them now. Okay. So, like I said, you got, you, once you hit Ash Rain, you can use other natures. You got lightning. You got lightning this right there. And then you got... Water gun shot, you know, just one of them. You know, one of the few, one of the very few, as you can see. And then you got wind. Wind gun. You see that? You see that? Alright. So once you hit S rank, you are able you have access to all natures, but do know that the natures that aren't yours will cost you more chakra to use. That's a way to like kinda like limit you to you know so that everyone's not using like the OPS natures and whatnot you know you you want to stick to your nature so you can preserve the most chakra so another thing you guys are probably like yo go that go that where you where you where you equip your jutsus at bro like where you at nah bro this game actually does not have tools or it, it has key binds but it's not the kind of key binds you're thinking for uh for for to cast your jutsus actually this game you have to actually use different keys and each key is considered a quote-unquote hand sign uh to and you have to make a combination of hand signs to no, to 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 uh generate the the jutsu that you want so for me to the hand sign for for fireball jutsu so to first to start to start casting a jutsu no you have to start casting it you have to press z you gotta press x v c v and then you press Z again to finally cast it, but you click, you see? And then as you rank up, you get more and more jutsus that are that happen to be stronger. You see, look at this, Grand Fireball Jutsu. Look at that, look how big that one is, okay? Okay, look at this, look at this, look at this. Phoenix Flower, look at that, look at that. You see, you get more jutsus as you rank up. So when you hit D, you, you get a few more jutsus. You get about two or three, depending on what your nature is. You may not even get any jutsus when you rank up. It all depends. It's all different for whatever nature you got. You see? You see? You see? Look at that. Look at that. And you got, boom, throwing rocks at people. <laughs> Just like that, all right? So that, that the nature, the jutsus, and like the whole system is actually the same from Snake Worlds, um, original Naruto Online. So some interesting facts that I found out about uh, about Naruto Online 2. The way the game is going to work is you will be born once again with a random, a random uh, nature and a random Kiki Genkai. But not only that, you will be born within a random village. So the village that you are a part of is not your choice. You can't just join a group and decide what village you join. This is like Snake World's way of balancing balancing out villages. Because often, Naruto game, like I've seen it in, in like Shinobi Life, Naruto Online games, Naruto RPG. You know, I've seen it all where, you know, everybody will join Leaf. And if they, they, everybody doesn't join Leaf, they'll join, like, Cloud, or they'll all join Mist. And then, you know, there's that one village, which is, like, maybe Stone, where they, like, they have so much less members than the other villages, especially Leaf. Or maybe everyone will join the Uchiha clan, and 
Uzumaki clan and then Senju clan, the Namikaze clan, and you got Nara, Akimichi over here with no, like, we were like 15 people. It's like, dang, hey, bro, we struggling. We struggling, you know what I mean? So this is Snake World's way of balancing out, you know, villages, clans, and all that to make sure that, you know, everyone, like, it's like, it's like, also his way of making it realistic. Cause in like the show, you don't get to pick, you don't exactly get to pick what village you are in when you first start off, when you're first born, you know what I'm saying? Like you're either born, your parents like, you know, give birth to you within the leaf village or they do it somewhere, some other village, you know what I'm saying? And then as you get older, you get to decide if you can leave the village, if you want to stay in the village or not. So that's how the game will work. You will, you can decide if you want to stay in the village or not. You can go rogue. I'm, I'm not sure. It hasn't been, I'm, it hasn't been confirmed if you can join another village or not after you leave. But from what I have heard, guys, this is just from what I have heard. It's not confirmed yet. Uh, when you leave a village, whatever village you're born in, you can't join another. So that is that is something I heard. You know, me and the finesse game, we're talking about. We're like, bro, if we all don't happen to end up in the same village in this no, Naruto man, game, geez. we're all gonna just go rogue, and then we're gonna start our own kind of like organization, and we're just gonna be like, we're just gonna be OP off skill, no specs, no no kick, you know, we're gonna have the use the kick and cuts that we have, and we just kind of build up our own organization and become, you know, and famous, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean, you know what I mean, <laughs> kind of be those dudes, those dudes, everybody gonna be like, oh no! Here comes the finesse game run. And you'll be like, nah, bro. Nah, bro. Ain't no running. Ain't no running. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, as some of you guys may be wondering, yo, Koda, how are we supposed to rank up in this game? So, uh, in the original copy, every village, I'm not sure if this, I'm, I'm positive. I'm sure Snake was going to add different ways to do it, but in the original copy, every village has um, a dashboard. Where you take a mission and it gives you a random name. You see, take mission. You say, give me a random name. Said star, star, uh, whatever. Okay, I'm not gonna, you know, pronounce that name. I'm not even gonna try. But uh, it's gonna, it's gonna give you a, a random name, and you have to go assassinate that person. When you assassinate that person, you get EXP for all the hits you land, like the physical hits, mainly with kunai. You get EXP for knocking that person out, and then. You get EXP for executing. You see, there's a difference when you in this game. When your HP is depleted, you don't die. All right, you get look, you get knocked out. Just like that, you get knocked out. You see, and then you have 10 seconds before you can get up. Now, while I'm down for 10 seconds, someone can either someone can either just like guard me or they can run up on me, and they can hold, they can press E while their kunai is out. And then they'll go through an animation where it's called executing, and that, my friend, is how you um, assassinate the person and you know complete the mission. That's how you. That's what's considered completing the mission. All right. And in this game, you also do not want to get knocked out a lot, or you will lose EXP for that. And you also do definitely, definitely do not want to get executed. Executed. If you get executed enough times, you will D rank. Okay. You will D rank. There, it is a possible it's a possibility for me to go from S rank all the way back to A rank to B rank to, to C rank you know it's like so on and so forth okay so that's another aspect of the game you know it makes things a little bit more interesting you know it starts beef trust me it starts beef <laughs> you know in this game where you do not want to be executed at all all right all right I'm letting y'all boys know Alright squad, that is actually going to be all for today's video. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. Once again, I just want to give a quick thanks to everyone who you know who has been continuously supportive of the channel. You know, I know you guys I'm I really appreciate you guys who like you know some of you you guys came back, you know, keep pushing me. Uh, you know, when I came back from my from my absence, you guys keep pushing me, supporting me, you guys you like, you know, you guys keep motivating me. To keep grinding, you know, get the channel back to what it was, and even even surpass to you know our peak. You know, I don't want uh, you know I want to pass our peak. I want to create a new peak, and you guys are pushing me to do that. I just want to say thank you. And if you guys are new and you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. If you did like the video, you don't even have to leave a thumbs up. Just 
hit that notification bell. All right, so you guys know when your boy uploads another video and when your boy goes live, I go live or upload every day. You know, I do one or the other for sure. It's like I I will do one. It's like a guarantee. You know, I mean sometimes some days you know I can't because like I said I am just I'm, I'm 16, so some days I can't. But you know, I, I'll do my best. You know, you know, I, for the most part, I will either be going live or uploading a video on you know on the day. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So until next time, squad, we out. Some